Hey guys, NerdKing101 here, and I wanted to talk about the Supergirl news that came out yesterday. But before we begin, I just want to make it clear this is not my video for the week. I will try to release something later this week, but I have an interview tomorrow, so I probably won't be able to start working on anything until after the interview, so I probably won't get it out until late tomorrow or Thursday. So ironically, I have been thinking about doing a video where I talked about things that I may have wanted to do with the DCEU, and I may still do that, but one of the things I was going to mention was that we should have a Supergirl movie, and look, we're getting it! So I am totally in favor of this. I've always thought Supergirl was a really interesting concept, and I don't think enough media outside the comics does enough with her. She appears a few times in Superman the Animated Series and the Justice League shows, but that's about it. As far as I'm aware, I don't think she's part of any major team, at least currently. She'd probably been a member of Titans or Young Justice at some point, but I can't recall ever seeing any panels or covers of her with those characters as a member of a team. I'm also a little concerned because Warner Brothers in DC can't even make a good Superman movie. Like, I think Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman are some of the worst movies I've ever seen. I'm also concerned because Superman is a key part of Supergirl's origin. You can't really tell Supergirl's origin in a movie without having Superman. And to be completely honest with you, I do not like Henry Cavill's Superman. None of the stuff he's been in I've liked, and even just as a character, the way he portrays him, even in Justice League when they try to make him more hopeful, he just doesn't look like Superman to me. Superman is supposed to look happy, cheerful, and hopeful, and be a symbol of peace and happiness and hope, and I just don't get that vibe from Henry Cavill, and I honestly don't know if this version of Superman in this universe could fill the role that the comic book version filled in Kara's origin. I'm also worried, like with many things they've been doing, they're going to jump right into the big stuff that will try to make them money. Like trying to maybe get set up to tell a Red Lantern Corridor L story. Just like they have Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman meet in the same movie that they introduced Doomsday and the concept of Apocalypse and Darkseid. I would not put it past them to try to jump right into like the Red Lantern Supergirl storyline. What I want is a story about Supergirl's origin as a teenager right away when she arrives on Earth and is trying to incorporate herself into our culture. Unlike Superman, Kara was a young teenager when Krypton exploded and she was sent out into space. She shows up on Earth, she had to move in with Superman's parents most of the time, who she never met. She had to adopt a new name because Kara zor won't work on Earth and people know that Superman Kryptonian name is Kal-El, so if she calls herself Kara Zor-El, people may figure out who she is, that she is related to Superman. She has to learn all of our customs, and she has to learn a new language. She also has to deal with a really low level of technology. You have to understand, Krypton was a really, really advanced. For her, living on Earth must be what it would be like for us to live with cavemen. She also has all of these amazing, incredible powers that she's not allowed to use in public. Like her cousin, she has to act weak and come up with excuses for why she can't do any. When some of the other girls she friend with in high school try to convince her to become a cheerleader, she has to lie to all of her friends and try to convince them of all the reasons why she can't be a cheerleader because in actuality she could kill somebody if she was a cheerleader. She wants to be a hero, she wants to be Supergirl, she wants to save the day, but Superman is like, no, because she's a 15 year old girl and she doesn't know what she's doing. Superman had years to learn how to control his power before he really went out there as Superman. And he doesn't want Kara to just go around being Supergirl when she's not prepared. 
because somebody could get seriously hurt. Imagine if she lost control of her heat vision. She could kill somebody. She's also a teenage girl, so she's dealing with normal teenage drama and romance and the opposite gender and all of this stuff. And it's very much kind of like the Spider-Man story, but kind of on a more extreme scale because she's an alien from another planet. You could make a really interesting movie that was kind of like a Smallville, Superboy kind of story, telling the beginning of her adventures as Supergirl while going to school in Smallville. You could have a nice, small-time villain that is powerful enough to, you know, beat her up a little bit, but not give her too much trouble. Just something fun. Make it a lot like Spider-Man Homecoming. Make it a fun teenage comedy about this really powerful alien girl. If you wanted to have a lot of fun with it, you could even have Supergirl maybe interact with some of Clark Kent's old high school buddies. From my understanding, his high school girlfriend, Lana Lang, knows that he's Superman, and she kept it a secret all these years, so they're probably still on decent terms. So you could have Supergirl and Lana Lang meet and tell a story with them. You could just do so much with this movie. You could also use this movie to try to bring in an audience of teenage girls. I'm sure teenage girls would like to have a superhero movie about a teenage girl. I think that would be really cool for them. I see a lot of potential for a good Supergirl movie. And I know DC has like 20, 25, 30 films lined up that they say are in production. But you know what? I'm not sure. This movie may never be made. Because they're also making a Bird the Prey movie that doesn't have Barbara Gordon in it. They're also making a Batgirl movie. They're also making like two Joker movies. It's like, forget it. This movie could very well never happen. But I do think it would be cool to see a movie about Supergirl. And I'm really excited. I talked a little bit about the kind of stuff I would do with the movie and what I want to see out of it. But you guys tell me in the comments. What are your thoughts on there being a Supergirl movie, and what would you like to see in it? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like if you did, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will of course be bringing you a video later this week that is like an anime analysis type video, so you guys can look forward to that. Also, I'd just like to remind you, when you have any suggestions for videos or things you would like me to analyze or talk about, Leave them in the comment section down below. They can be comic books or they can be anime or manga. Anything works. I'll look into anything. And if I see something I think is worth talking about, I'll do it.